Welcome back, everybody. No, I think I'll just cover the lore in this one. So yeah, if that's not you guys' cup of tea, then uh, we'll just go to the next part. I'll check the bike here. But yeah, I'm just gonna full deep dive because I don't know if other people have done this. Yeah, this gun's not unlocked yet. The pre-order one. But it made it to full glitch in the account, so it might be my one. I'm not sure, but we'll see here. And then, in case you didn't see the last part, oh, uh, here's Nightwing, Robin. I switched their their outfits. The Red Hood to, to what are my wait? Actually, the Red Hood one. I guess you've changed this one's color. I didn't even think of that. I didn't really change its color specs. Oh, sorry, Red Hood mains. I didn't even think of that. Well, this is right the next video, so at least I'm hopping back into it. Didn't really miss a whole lot. Um, but yeah, this should have a color thing that I can change. Right? Or did you change that elsewhere? Do I have to get out of... Wait, do I have to revert to actually be able to change the colorway? I do. Oh, maybe they can't change the colorways of those ones. But here are the... Uh... I actually prefer that one anyway. Oh, whoa, you can really make it look different. Oh, I, I prefer that one anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer the darker tone. Anyway. It's not really matter. Okay. Team loads so quick, though. Although, other games have quick loads of character switches, too, actually. But... But I think it's like just geniusly compartmentalized. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the training, but I wanna do lore first. Let's just jump into that. See how long that takes. Um and I just switched to this suit. Yeah, see it did give me my health back. Um my health back's back, that's cool. Cause I used the extra one on BS guys that respawned anyway, and I really used all of them on accident on accident. <laughs> Um, the basics, the grappling hook, bat cycle, map, grappling, yeah, see that's just all super basic, I don't think I really need to go over that, like you guys can just pause the video to go over that stuff, but the lore I do want to voice aloud. Those are the old files I've done before. I guess I'll just show these off in case you didn't see from the other one. That's what's happened so far. I'm going to scroll down here and pause it. That's what happened so far in the story. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll just start getting into this. Back computer at the back computer monitors criminal activity and threat levels across Gotham City. Accessing the back computer's map also allows you to track objectives, contracts, and other important locations. The back computer's encrypted database connects to, to Batman's latest augmented reality technology to display real-time information during investigations, gather information while investigating case files, or collect clues on patrol access new crimes and other intelligence via the bad computer. The, the bicycle workstation. You can use the bicycle workstation to customize your bike's aesthetic, but currently 
You're not going to see your pre-order. At least for my account, the pre-order is not there yet. So I think that happens day three. Um, you can switch, because we're still technically in the tutorial. You can switch to different to a different hero at the character selection area. You can only change your character inside the Belfry. Batgirl, Robin, Red Hood, and Nightwing level up in sync. See, that's kind of, that's a little sucky. That you can't just change your character on the fly, but I understand why they do that. But I feel like they could have maybe gotten an advantage to do that. But maybe, maybe they think that's more of a... Well, yeah, I guess Lego game, but I don't even know if all Lego games would allow that. Free Roam, I think they would. Um, evidence board. The evidence board in the Belfry collects case file details, intel for your investigations, and useful insight into the current state of the story. This is the goofy part. Like, I can't even go outside and goof around as these guys, because a story event could happen. And I want to do all the stories back, girl, to see her story. Also, I'm the most curious about her voice actress, because these other guys are absolute legends, as far as far as I can tell. They all seem very familiar with their voices. Um, like they're already going to be super good. I was curious at the performance of the back girl. Um, evidence board, which she might be a famous back girl. I don't know, but she sounds like Velma to me, so I don't know. The evidence board in the Belfry collects case file. Details, intel for your investigations, and useful insight in the current state of the story. I guess. I was following the story. I don't think it did a whole lot, but I did hit something that um, unlocked... Um, uh, what did it unlock? Yeah, it unlocked this. So I can actually see. And I guess this is war too, so the freaks claim Robin... Park is, the, is their territory. Robinson Park is their territory. Wait, I need to go here for the other email, for the emails, so too. I need to keep that in my mind. That right here-ish, I think, is where the monument is. I could be wrong. This could be the monument here, but the map is quite small. But yeah, the, the monument is in that area that I have an email for. Um... Which, oh, I probably should say the emails for this one, too. Yeah, I've already voiced over the emails earlier, and uh, that would probably be two videos ago. Um, I'll try to have that in the name of the video, but like the, my video titles are so long, it might be hard for your device to see them. But a uh, computer could. The mob claims, but I'll go to the email, pause it, so you can still see it. And I just won't revoice it. I don't want, like, repeat content. Like, this is long enough, this playthrough. And I'm going to make it insanely long, because there's freaking... Um, an arcade machine that you can play uh, Spy Hunter on, which is like one of my all-time favorite arcades. That may just be my favorite um, that cell graphics game. Like, I freaking love that game. The mob claims the West End as their territory. Once in the area, use your compass or AR to find criminal informants. Interrogate the mob to find out more information. Although, I'm not an old-school player of that game. Although, I've still done it for a while. It's probably early thousands, I want to say. Early to mid thousands. It was on a Funny or Die website, which I'm not affiliated at all with. Um, no, so go there at your own warning, because I don't know what weird crud's on there these days. I haven't used it in forever. Um, but yeah, it had Flash games, and and um, Spy Hunter was one of them. And that version of Spy Hunter was so freaking fun. I loved it so freaking much. I got the freaking max score um, on the website for, I don't know, maybe it's still up there. My max score may still actually be there. I'm not sure. Uh, I might actually go look at that. <laughs> if that site's still up, which I think it was. I'm not sure. Just to confirm whether or not for my next Spy Hunter one, if my high score's still up there or not. I'd be shocked if it was, but maybe it is. Because, yeah, I would think, like, an old-school player of the game who, like, really knows all the ins and outs would have beaten it, but I don't know. Oh, this game looks so good. It's absolutely incredible. I hope I hope YouTube's portraying this well. I, I, I doubt it will fully portray it as well, but it'll be, it might get close, I hope. I'm not even playing in 4K, either. Like, the people that play this in 4K, just, that's just supposed to be completely mind-blowing. Um... Yeah, and I can guarantee you YouTube is not fully capturing it just because of how YouTube is, but it can get pretty close. 
It's better than other sites, probably. Um, unless you really have your own know-how. But raw video feed will always be bad, eh? Like, the upload, it always loses something off the raw, which is just a shame. Um, but that's why my Soul Calibur, I keep the raw footage, because you never know. Um, of a game like I really like. This game may, may earn that honor. I'm really liking this playthrough, although I'm a little hesitant because it's going to be an insanely long playthrough, probably. Because um, I'm going to look for every nook and cranny. Uncover crime and secrets of every nook and cranny. I'll do my best. Okay. Evans Forge Training Arena. You can practice combat combos and your abilities for each hero in the training area. Looks like email's after this, so, so we'll just, um... Oh, but email is its own category. So this could just be a database episode, but I still want to show email. I feel like that's that's related. Um... But I've already read those. Is that all that the guidebook has to offer? Oh, no, there's, there's much more. Oh, we're feeling clues and crimes. Oh, you remember the crimes you've been used. Oh, these are like all the hints, I think. Yeah, I think these are all the hints. Drilled during a night of patrol, either interrogating informants or when approaching an ongoing um, premeditated crime. Now, this thing, I need to do five of these to unlock the next momentum power. So that should always be around, though, because that's a momentum power unlock. I doubt that will ever go away. Um, you'll earn various rewards for fighting crime in Gotham City. Rewards include XP, ability points, blueprints, salvage, uh, colorways, emotes, and more. You can also find other kinds of rewards hidden across Gotham. Aha! So that hints that the email may be actually correct. And I swear I opened a reward and didn't get anything for it. Maybe it just gave health packs and had max health packs, but there's an EMT. I went to, like, open their thing. It didn't give me crap. So I'm guessing it was health packs and I already had max health packs. And then, like, right after that, I bumped healer or whatever accidentally. <laughs> Freaking hilarious sequence. <sighs> Augmented reality, this was all mentioned before too. AR highlights important objects, inspects uh, objects in the AR to learn more of the information. Well, maybe the tutorial failed you, so you've come to this video. I don't know, so I'm just going to go over these. Activity view, um, use the activity view to access case files. And these pictures are great too. I don't know if they showed these exact pictures. Across other events in the Gotham, uh, other events in Gotham City. Highlight an item. Wait, is this letting me... Oh no, this is just saying that can... Oh, wait, 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 that was bad of me. AR pulse, X. AR view, hold X. Camera movement, mouse, and then arrow keys, which is really just moving the camera. Holding X. You don't have to... Yeah, I'll... That's because it's forward slash. That's either or. My bad. Um, and then activity view, F1, tracking V. I don't know if I knew that. So that's cool. Um, use the activity view to access case files, challenges, and or other events in Gotham. Whoa, that looks like a way quicker way to do stuff. Highlight an item in the activity view for more information and plan your next steps. Normally, I would say this is immersion breaking, but we're actually uh, a Batman character that actually have the freak... We're actually linked with the Gotham computer, so this actually completely makes sense and probably AR what they would actually do in real life to a certain degree. So that's super cool. Uh, clues. Criminals you defeat in battle sometimes drop clues. Collect enough clues and you'll discover premeditated crimes happening during your next patrol. Now I should have 10 of clues of the freaks. I was hoping that would trigger premeditated, but I don't think it actually did. But, but I don't know, maybe it will. Um, case files. Case files represent the, the Batman family family's ongoing investigations. Access case files via the Bat Computer, Case Files tab, or Activity View. The case file in the list is always related to the main story of Gotham Knights. Other case files are investigations on secondary villains and are not mandatory to complete the game. I wonder how that's differentiated. Respawning. If your hero is defeated during a story mission, they'll revive at the most recent checkpoint. If your hero is defeated in Gotham City, they'll revive at the nearest respawn point. You'll lose some of your accumulated salvage and clues when you are defeated. Oh, you lose your clues. Ouch. Well, as always, I'm going to try my best to not die, but I, uh, during boss fights, who knows? 
and just wreck their fights, who knows? I don't know how realistic damage this is going to get, get compared to Arkham. Um, health packs. You can heal yourself by using a health pack. Health packs are replenished every time you return to the belt free after a patrol. Certain enemies may sometimes drop health packs when defeated. I'm guessing an EMT crate when you open it also will give you health packs. Um, I don't know. So basically, try to work the night till you get low on health packs, I guess. Well, that's, that's what I'm taking from that. Whew, there's so much. Here we go. Here, let me... I take it in here. It'll only take a second. Hey, show a second such a great, great song. It's, it is BB2. It was actually a good girl in that one, but BB can be a wild child for sure. Um, level up. Earn XP. Experience points. To increase your hero's level. Leveling up improves the character's stats and awards you ability points to spend on new skills. Your Batgirl, Robin, Redhead, and Nightwing characters all level all level in sync. Hacking cool. What a great system. Ability points. Your hero earns ability points when their level increases or when completing specific side activities. Spend ability points to acquire new abilities as well as unlock new options in the ability tree. Some abilities cost more ability points than others. Now this is what I'm not sure if that actually trades over to the other Avengers, because my dodge, they... Uh, Avengers, oh my gosh, I, I said it, it was bound to happen, I was thinking of the Avenger game. Because the Avenger, uh, Marvel Avengers has um, separate leveling, which all, which people like me, like, even that's still breaking my will now after like two freaking years into it, there's just funner stuff to play now, but, um, looks like it got busier too. And like Marvel Avengers, I really like that game, but it's still kind of a mess to record, so I don't bother. Um, I'm hoping this game won't be. So far, it's not been. Um, but yeah, that has individual leveling, which is like basically just will 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 break almost all of its players. That factor, although just level up one and not care about the others, um, which then may limit their their content they can do. Um, but this having simultaneous leveling is probably to counter that entirely. All your knights nice level up at once. This would be very annoying if I had to then go and level up the other people too, because I don't exactly want to play as them. And then momentum. Attacking enemies, avoiding damage, generates momentum, which allows you to use your most powerful, unique abilities. Because this may be like winning though, although they may be getting such bad PR from that um, Marvel Avengers game into this one that it may they may be confused on the type of game it is, because it's its own playing thing. It's not a live game like the Marvel Avengers one. Okay. Song customization. Colorways. You can use distinct colorways to customize the aesthetic of your hero's suit. The Bat Cycle can also have its own colorways. Colorway unlocks. Finish case file investigations, complete challenges, explore, and experiment to unlock new colorways. Ooh, you can do it exploring. Suit styles. You can customize the appearance of your hero's suit after it's been equipped. The appearance of each suit's cowl, symbol, gloves, and boots can be changed individually as well. Now, cowl is, is your helmet. It's your headgear. And distinctively, the, the kind that has a helmet on top of it. I don't think this is actually a cowl. This is just a mask. But Batgirl generally has a cowl, and Batman definitely always does. Um, you can also change the visual theme of suits using colorways, but not all of them. An augment, I don't a suit mod mog, I don't think you can. Photo mode. A photo mode, a tap P to open the pause menu and select photo mode, or tap C to open social wheel and select the photo mode icon. When playing solo, opening the photo mode will effectively pause the game. However, when playing co-op, The game will keep running normally. While in photo mode, your controls change. Blah, 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 WSD, move, rotate, up, down. Select option, change option, take picture, exit mode. That's hold, actually, to quit mode. That should say hold, it doesn't. Okay. 
Yeah, that should say hold. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. I didn't need to send that into the devs. So that needs to say hold there. That is uh, not properly displayed. Everything you need to know about fighting crime in Gotham City. This is like the whole tutorial. Wow. I don't know, maybe... Wow. I don't know if this really needs to be read, but... <laughs> I think I've already done that. Range attack, evade space. Yeah, this all looks like it's been gone over in the tutorial, so I'm just going to let you guys pause this. As this video is getting long enough. Okay, this might be different, actually. Veterans and Champions. Veterans and Champions are high-tier criminals with additional additional abilities and attack patterns. Scan enemies with AR to learn what you're up against. Oh yeah, I need to remember to scan with AR before I beat people up, because I may actually get more intel that way. Yeah, grab. It just taught us how to grab. Elementals. Yeah, I've been over that. Perfect evading, those in the tutorial as well. Momentum abilities in the tutorial. Guard breaks in the tutorial. So I'm not going to go over that again. Let's repeat stuff. Winners in detection. Okay, this I might go over, because this one's good to actually just memorize. Although I probably already have it memorized, but... As enemies see or hear you, the detection meters will, will fill or change color to indicate their status. Indi um, indicates enemies are suspicious... And searching for your hero indicates, um, so it's a yellow question mark. Red exclamation point indicates enemies are alert and will openly attack your hero. Excellent takedowns, this also was covered. Ambush attacks, that was covered. Taking from above, that was covered. Marking enemies, that was covered. Oh, this is good to know. AR view, hold X, AR pulse X, move camera. Use air to reveal enemies in the area, including those con concealed behind walls or other cover. What could be used to see people behind a wall? Ooh. Well, that's probably because you pulse seen them already. Targeting an enemy with AR will mark them, enabling you to track their, their um, position outside of AR. Using stealth. So to snide or sneak around... I think that was already detected. Oh wait, you, if, if you're detected, you can use the smoke bomb to rapidly escape or break away from enemy's line of sight. Now the smoke bomb looks like it's only usable if you can grappling hook to an edge while holding F, which explains why it's the F command. That, like, me earlier in this game could not, for some reason, I couldn't understand that. Even though the game basically did say it, I just didn't see a grapple point, so I thought it was bugged to crud when that was just a 100% me problem. Robin's cloak ability is an incredibly powerful stealth tool. But yeah, after this, I'm gonna go into training and do that the stealth one, because, like, the smoke bomb. Like, I should have had that XP forever ago. I was just, I was just being a silly billy. Ha <laughs> ha! Such a dumb saying to say, but I say it's funny as hell. Um, also, it's YouTube. I can't say a lot of, a lot of other words. I'll learn about the various criminal activities happening across Gotham. Okay. I just take, take a break there. My freaking phone is ringing. Anyway, the mob. The mob is a syndicate of criminal of international. Crime families based in the West End. This mix of hardened, fearless criminals has a long history of violence in Gotham. Defeat members of the mob to earn polymer, titanium mesh, and rare earth metals. Oh, this is saying more of the stuff they give. Oh, these are the symbols, too. So that's a mob symbol. That is the freak symbol. Freak symbol. This is a traumatized death. I know where some freak symbols are, which I think Robin wants some pictures of. Um, I'll have to see, because, like, it probably fully indicated. I also know where 
Oh, there's a random symbol by the um by the Oh, Blackgate prison. I was trying to remember the name of the prison. Um The freaks are a violent a volatile gang based in North Gotham. They have a penchant for burning everything in their way. Defeat freaks to earn polymol, industrial solvent, accelerant, and programmable nano capsules. Oh my goodness, they must be run by someone very smart. Or the game wasn't thinking this out. How in the world do they have programmable nano capsules? Perhaps they just stole them. Case file progression. You can complete challenges to unlock new case file investigations at the Belfry. Pref refer to the activity view to track your current challenges and case file progression. GCPD. Some GCPD officers, which is Gotham uh, City Police Department, uh, ap appreciate the assistance of your hero. Or may require assistance in Gotham City. Wait, whoa, they actually like you? It says some appreciate. And the one guy who's friends with, um... Oh, no, I don't remember his name anymore. I might, might have to look that, up that, look that back up. I don't know if it matters, though. But, the, but, like, um... Way back when I first fought those cops... I'm not even sure which video that'd be. That was, uh... But may have been day one gameplay. I think it might have been day two, actually. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but anyway, back when I beat up those cops in the, the video, uh, a Batgirl, uh, that didn't go as planned. The one that starts like that. In that video, I actually saw that one cop was actually on my side, so, or ish, or around to the side of them. And it may also be the other um, lady is, too. Uh, beware the heavily armored GCPD, not the, um, not Catherine Kane, though. Or possibly Catherine Kane if she really is Batwoman, but I don't know if she will be in this. Beware the heavily armored GCPD, although I'd love that DLC! Or just possibly the later part of this game, unlocking a fifth knight would be freaking awesome. Assault unit, who are the host uh, assault unit, who are hostile to all vigilantes. The heavily armored are hostile, so possibly the regular street officers might not be. Defeating GCPD officers does not earn you XP, so pick your fights carefully. Security cameras. If a security camera detects your hero, it will trigger an alarm and alert nearby enemies to their presence. Security alarms may also summon enemy reinforcements. Batgirl's remote hacking allows her to briefly disable cameras. Batgirl's hacking overload causes cameras to, work to mark targets in AR before the device deactivates. That's cool. Cameras can't detect Robin when he's cloaked, or Batgirl when she uses Digital Ghost. Very nice. Set activities. Well, this is real. Batarang Retrieval. Batman scattered... This is was in emails. Batman scattered several of his signature Batarangs across Gotham. Finding them all will require strength and parkour and grapple skills. Seek out and collect all the hidden Batarangs. This is real. Screenshot on that. That's the lead. Oh boy, gear. This is actually somewhat important to the challenges, so this is actually... You can craft new and improved suits and weapons for your hero using blueprints and salvage. Oh, yeah, I missed the blueprints. Before crafting an item, consider the potential stats, properties, and abilities of the blueprint to see how it fits your, your playstyle. The crafting workbench can also, ser also serves as storage for gear you've already made. You can also access these items from the gear tab. I think I can enter into that for no reason there. You can just hit enter to cue that sound, that's cool. I'm um, crafting enhanced stats. While crafting suits, melee weapons, and ranged weapons, each member of the Bat family has a small chance to create gear with enhanced stats, making them the item more powerful than anticipated. Oh, that's like a critical success feature, that's cool. Dismantling gear. You can dismantle outdated or, or irrelevant gear from the loadout tab. Dismantle gear dis 
Dismantle the gear becomes salvage for crafting. This also clears up inventory space. Well, inventory sp what? Okay, if it was inventory space, that's annoying how much yeah, the inventory of Marvel Avengers. Oh my word. They, they did double it, but which made it a bit more a bit less annoying, but it's still an annoying son of a gun. Considering you have like freaking eight plus characters, my god. Well, when your um, inventory is full, it will automatically clean itself up. Obsolete mods will be fused. Obsolete gear will be dismantled for salvage. Obsolete blueprints will be removed. I don't know about that. That sounds like, uh, I don't know why I agree with what it does with that as a question. Will that always be the best thing to do? Rarity. Gear comes in different forms of rarity, including common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and heroic tiers. Ooh, six tiers. That's pretty good. Higher tier gear has improved uh, stats and properties and may include additional mod slots. Woo! Gear. Gear for each member of the Batman family includes suits, melee weapons, and ranged weapons. Each piece of gear offers distinct bonuses as you fight crime in Gotham City. Gear can be improv improved as you collect blueprints and craft new items, or by equipping mod chips. I don't have any of that yet. Now here's multiplayer. I want to just do a solo run, because I don't want people jacking with my crap. But at some point, I might actually go into multiplayer, because I do know quite a few of other people that play this. Well, I'm not, like, the, the super close with them. Because, cause, like, cause if this is actually, like, a good four-player game, then I may have gotten, like, a group together to do it. But it's only two players, so it just feels lackluster. That super sucks. Um, but, like, as you can see, my, this graphics card was starting to stutter, so they may have just thought gra graphics cards would not be powerful enough to handle all four people. But, I mean, they do in Marvel Avengers, but... It is more power intensive. Playing co op. You can play co op multiplayer with other players. To access multiplayer options or begin matchmaking, select the social menu or quick co op in the social wheel. Social menu. The social menu allows you to matchmake with others as well as view f friends, um, recent players, and blocked players. Where's the social menu? I'm not even sure where that is. That may be on uh, at an exit button press. Social wheel. The social wheel allows you to navigate co-op options, use emotes, enter photo mode, broadcast SOS alerts to other online players. Oh, that's probably how I summon them in. SOS. Use the SOS if you need urgent assistance or want to play co-op with any, uh, any other online player. Using SOS changes your lobby setting to public. Cool. Stat sync. When joining another player's world as a guest, see this I might do, your hero stats will be synchronized with the host level. This maintains a balance challenge for all players, regardless of their hero level or sword progress. This is that's big, I'm screwed on that one. Um Co-op progression. Your story progression saves even while you're a guest in another world in another player's world. You can replay or skip excuse me, skip completed missions when you encounter them again in your world. Your XP and gear always stays with your hero. And it's like a voice gauntlet. That means we got through the guidebook. And we got into the lore. Or you can just look at that, I looked at that before. Here's the lore. Alfred's. And then this, and this actually has all brand new, if you don't know, this has its own universe to it. It's not linked to Arkham Knight, the Arkham franchise, at all. Even though it's kind of a sister game. Because it seems somewhat inspired by it, but it's not linked to it. So anything could happen in this universe. So, let's figure out what this universe is all about with Alfred first. Boot champ. Steward of the Wayne family, Alfred Pennyworth is more than a butler. He's a generous mentor, a caring friend, and a rel reliable ally. Though he operates behind the scenes, Alfred is vital to the safety of Gotham City. 
and her protectors. Without his combat, medical training, and level-headed wisdom, Batman and others may not have lived to fight another knight. Plus, he's an underappreciated actor. Honestly, he is phenomenal on stage. <laughs> he's an actor? Wow. Okay. I mean, I bet he would be. Batgirl. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's get a screenshot. Barbara Gordon was self-trained and only 16 when she started fighting crime as Batgirl. Her ongoing studies in criminology and computer science made her a brilliant detective. When a spinal injury threatened to end her, end her crime fighting career, interesting, they don't explain that. Other lore has that happening in The Killing Joke, which has a movie. Brutal, M-rated. If, if you're not an adult, do not watch that movie. Um, or at least watch it with your parents. Like, But I wouldn't even necessarily recommend watching unless you're an adult at all. Um, although maybe late teens could handle it, but... Uh, well, actually, M-rated is 17 and up, I think. So yeah, just unless you're M-rated age, like, ugh. Because it, it, it deals with real crud, and you probably won't know the nuance of what's happening either. Um, although, some people prefer the comic over the, the film. I will say that. Well, I haven't gone into the comic, but... I did, I did enjoy the film, but it's so brutal, that's why there's no live action of it. Barbara retired as Batgirl and became the information expert Oracle. With therapy and surgery, she eventually recovered, um, recovered, strengthened by Oracle, as well as Barbara's unbreakable determination to protect Gotham, Batgirl returned. Heck yeah. Clap that. Nightwing. Lost and looking for answers. Batgirl. Yeah, I don't think it's a Batgirl like that, so just to be fair. Just to be fair. Batgirl. Although I might have said that, actually. Night Nightwing. Lost and looking for answers. Following the death of his parents, young Dick Grayson came under the care of Bruce Wayne. The boy's curiosity, curiosity and determination led him to find Batman and become the first Robin. Over time, Dick wanted to fight crime differently than Batman. He left Gotham to Bluthaven. Is that how I'm supposed to say that? Bluthaven? To, or Bluthaven? To do just that. As Nightwing is Eskrima Sticks. I'm not sure how to say that. What country is that from? They're, they're basically batons, but I guess they're es Eskrima Sticks. Ekrima? Whatever. Um, if you know how that's said. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'm sorry if I've offended any languages with my pronunciations in this video. <laughs> and impressive style didn't just instill fear in criminals. They inspired hope in the people Nightwing lives to protect. Shout out to Nightwing. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Really cool character. Red Hood. Jason Todd trained to become the second Robin after Bateman. A uh, ba Bateman. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Batman. Caught him stealing tires from the Batmobile. Crime fighting gave the reckless boy purpose and a meaningful outlet for his anger until Batman failed. Jason was murdered. Oh, is he the one that's, that Joker kills? With Harley Quinn? That might be. Oh, I didn't know he actually had... was the same as Red Hood. Two years later, resurrected... Although, I'm sure one of the movies actually mentioned that. I just don't recall. Two years later, resur resurrection brought... Jason back as a killer called Red Hood. With the Batman family's help, therapy, and rehabilitation, Jason repented his extreme methods. Now, Red Hood uses his pistols to put Gotham's criminals behind bars. Rather than in the ground. With his rubble, rubber bullets. Is... Shout out to Red Hood for turning good. Robin. An experience with incredible potential. Young Tim Drake convinced Alfred Pennyworth and Dick Grayson to bring him into the fold as the new Robin. He'd already uncovered the identities of Batman, Robin, Batgirl, and Nightwing. He knew 
he could help them. With training, he's become an undetectable master of stealth with a razor intellect that can crack cases even the Batman can't. Now, that's not... That's for, for this lore, that's true. For regular Batman lore, that's not true. Batman has 500 freaking IQ. Well, they're saying Tim Drake has more than that? Like, there hasn't even... Like, I think there's been, like, one case of possible 500 IQ or close to it with 400. He was the freaking um, store clerk. Although IQ is just a silly number, honestly. Because, like, it, the IQ tests do not show true true knowledge and crud. Um, like, for real talk. Like, IQ tests do not show outside-the-box thought at all, which can be some of the... And people skills, which can be some of the most important things you'll ever learn. Um, and, uh... Uh, that's about all I have to say on that. But for this lore, he's supposed to be smarter than Batman, and he, and he is a very intelligent character. Like, don't get don't get me wrong. Like, freaking Teen Titans, Robin, which I believe is always Tim Drake, is flipping awesome. Such a cool character. Love the original Teen Titans show, and I've seen a little bit of the, the newer one, but I'm just way older than that now. Um, but it can be fun, a little SD show or the little or whatever it is. Yeah, I've seen the SD show too. There might be even a different one of them drawn like as like. Small caricatures, which is what SD is. It's a Japanese um, art style. It's, it's similar to that. I don't know if it exactly is, but it's it's that chippy style art. SD chippy style art. Um, but yeah, it can be funny. The, the, the Robin one, I did see one of them. Uh, one of them that really s stood out with me. There's a Robin one that he joins a cult or whatever. And it's just, it's great. It's absolutely great. It's on par with this one. Um, I'm sure you guys could look it up and figure it out, because that might just be what it's called. Robin joins a cult. I don't remember. But it, it was great. It was absolutely, I think it was Robin that joined the cult. Like, he was in, he was investigating it anyway. It's a great freaking episode. I really like that one. That was huge, great storytelling hidden inside a kid's show. Just to try to teach kids to learn about stuff. Because almost nothing teaches them to watch out for, for dangerous thought patterns like that. Um, anyway, and then with training... Yeah, and then his yeah, even Batman can't. The boy wonder is everything Robin was meant to be. At only sixteen, he's just getting started. So he really is still a child. Oh, still still a child, although not really though. Like a sixteen-year-old, technically yes, is a child, but like no, they're they can be quite formidable. Um, like age-wise, I was always like way mature, way more mature than other people. It's just it's just good training and blessing and whatnot. Um, all the credit goes to God. But, but yeah, like, um, some people can be, like, maturity level, like, twice their age or around that. Although, me, now that I am, like, twice that age, um, uh, actually, that's interesting. I think I literally am twice this age. Yeah. I think so. Currently. Um, that's actually kind of cool. But, yeah, like, it's, like, the maturity is just going to be even more when you actually hit this level. And then, and then some things may be gained, and other aspects of, of your mind may be lost and needs to be um, relearned, or you've forgotten. Because, um, yeah, time is just kind of like that. Speaking of time, <laughs> someone whose time ran out, Bruce Wayne. So that's what Bat... Oh, that's right, they showed him in the opening, but yeah, we didn't really get to see his suit that well. But who knows, maybe there'll be a DLC where you can be him and fill in all this backstory. It's potential. Or his potential. That's the upside to making a whole new lore. Bruce Wayne. If you... Which is Batman. So it's so interesting it doesn't actually say Batman there. It's implying that they're one and the same. Interesting. If you ask the media, Bruce Wayne is a philanthropist. Um. Blanderer. Or some combination of both. But if you ask me, Bruce is... An uncompromising friend and father. Who are we asking here? Um, someone who... I assume Alfred wrote these? Someone who keeps his distance, protects his secrets, and is a total... Um, battle axe of a boss. Wait, boss? Well, maybe this was Nightwing that wrote this? Perhaps it is, in fact, Batgirl. Well, that'd be crazy if these changed depending on what character we're looking at these. I may look at that off-screen. Test that. And always... And the email may change as well. And he's a man... With a strong moral compass, who would do anything to keep Gotham City safe, no matter the cost to himself. Bruce Wayne is everything Gotham City aspires to be. Also, he's Batman. P. 
Yes. And he's a terrible cook. Constantly mixes up his black and blue socks. And strongly prefers not to be called Brucey. Strongly prefers not to be called Brucey. That's going to be Batgirl. Yeah. Oh, it's written by... Whoa. And if Batman wanted a completely serious biography, he should have written it himself. DG. Only you. BW, is that Batwoman? And DG, I'm not sure who that is. Hmm, I'm actually not sure who that is. This is the first name of Commissioner Gordon. Is it a Gordon? Maybe that is. Anyway, that's really an awesome Easter egg. Yeah, I didn't get that Easter egg. Like, that's the crazy thing with the stuff. But I'm not like a like insane super fan. I'm just like a moderately well versed fan. But spirit wise, you gotta be one of the strongest. So believe in the ideals of this stuff a ton. Well, not completely. Some of the DC ideals are a little wonky. Jacob Kane, Catherine Kane. Yeah, this is, this isn't going to spoil anything. I'll probably unlock more people as we go here. So yeah, this may have like part two or whatnot. Um, but I'd probably do that at the end of the game, honestly. There's so much freaking crap in this. But uh, but I don't know. I might just do little overlooks. I'll have to see here. Um, I tell you, Al Ghul. That's the thought of Raja Ghouls. Uh, and I'm just gonna say it that way. That they call it like Rage Al Ghul, but it's just Raj, Raja Ghul. That's what I've heard from all the other subs. So I'm just gonna go with that. She was raised to be the League of Shadows, second in command, and has been fiercely loyal to their um cause since childhood. Growing up within the League, she has come to see people as chess pieces to be manipulated. Though they're was a brief time when another path seemed impossible. Also, I don't know if she's playable in any of the games. Like, that would have been cool if we could be Raja Ghoul. Or Talia Ghoul. Or Raja Ghoul, actually. Would be cool, too. But Talia Ghoul would be really freaking cool. In hindsight, our brief relationship was a mistake. I should have known she would never betray her father by leaving the League. In recent years, Talia has grown resentful of her father for passing her over as his replacement. Yeah, she burned his freaking body. That's what we saw there. And this is the guy that died. Barbara Gordon put in that one. This is probably from Batman himself, by the sound of it. Um, Dr. Kirk Langstrom may have useful information. Langstrom has been conducting unethical experiments in a secret underground lab, including DNA splicing and alteration. He was murdered by an unknown assailant, though the official coroner coroner's report lists the cause of death as an accident. What? Oh my goodness, the coroner is freaking paid off. He got the crap beaten out of them, though. Was that even this report? He was midway. There's no way in hell that's an accident. Although, perhaps if one of his beasts, like Man Bat, unleashed to beat him up, there were scratches on the bottom. Like, is this the guy that makes Man Bat? That I'm not entirely sure what his name is. It's from the first episode of the 1990s car um, animated show that created Man... At least just created Man Bat and Hothi Quinn. Absolute legend of a show. That's what I was raised on. That's why I'm super into Batman. Here's Jacob Kane. My uncle, as well as the CEO of Kane Industries. Dude, does this really change for character you are? A military contracting, a contracting company. We have maintained a pleasant relationship despite my feelings about his company. And he has come to my, Bruce's, defense in the press from time to time. He's politically savvy and married to GCPD's commissioner, Catherine Kane. 
Oh, that is his wife. So that's not Batwoman then. Hence why Batwoman said that other thing. Oh, here she is. I was just thinking that, um, she's similar to the CW character. That's so cool. Catherine Kane is, is as tough as they come. I could make a great commissioner if she would focus that energy into cleaning up her department. Instead, she has set her sights on us, making us an enemy in exchange for good press. She is my um, aunt by marriage to my uncle Jacob, which makes family functions uncomfortable. That's Bruce Wayne saying that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Just Gotham City. And I actually somehow do not have all the sites yet, even though I've gone everywhere. But maybe these will unlock more. Oh, maybe it's divided into the three main sections. And they have subdivisions. No, they don't. Oh, this probably will expand greater, too. The Arkhams built the university in the 19th century. One of the first halls to be completed was Holloway Hall. Ha! Ha! Hollow. That's funny. D donated by the Arkhams. More halls were endowed by other families, since, such as the, oh, wait, the Cobbleports and the Chandlers, as well as my own, which contributed to make the university what it is today. The Martha Wayne Foundation... Sponsors many programs for low-income youth to attend the university, helping them access the education they deserve. It's one of the projects I'm most proud of. I was found Kirk Landstrom. Dude, is, is his family one of the three, the fifth major that helped shape Gotham? It might be. It's a professor of zoology at Gotham City University. Investigation is go ongoing. I may have to go to the Gotham City University at some point. That's a high chance of that. Although I may have already been there. I don't even know why that museum -y stuff was there. I've definitely been around its campus on an earlier video. Belfry slash Union Station. The Union Station was comp completed in 1902 and became the hub of Gotham City Intramural Railway, later known as Gotham City Rail. The clock tower was com Missioned by the, my great-great-grandfather, Alan Wayne, in 1898, but it was condemned about ten years ago for safety purposes. When Barbara was paralyzed, I wanted to give her a space she could use as her own to conduct her work as Oracle. As the Union Station had been abandoned for several years, it seemed like the perfect place as it is located in the heart of the city. So I retrofitted the space in the clock tower to contain everything Barbara could need. Then Alfred helped me make it accessible for her for as long as she needed it. Though the Belfry isn't being used anymore, it remains a good secondary base in case the Batcave were to be destroyed. Which it was. <laughs> Historic Gotham. GCPT Central. This is the central precinct of the Gotham City Police Department. It housed the detective division where Renee Montoya, that's the one that might actually be loyal to the Bats. Renee Montoya. That's right, she was in Bat, um, Batgirl as well. I mean, Batwoman. <laughs> Central patrol and allows uh, pre-trial holdings for the um, Gotham City Courthouse. The bat signal used to sit on the rooftop of the building, but it was taken down when Catherine Kane became the new police commissioner. Many of the vents and windows I used to sneak up in through have been blocked or shut or shut closed which makes that accessing the building much more difficult. Unfortunately, since Jim Gordon's death, the corruption seems to have risen in the ranks. One of the main reasons for this was the creation of the Major Crimes Unit, an armored task force dedicated to stopping vigilantes and criminals alike. Officers in this division often abuse their power and are known to take bribes. It's safe to say that Cooperation between vigilantes and the GCPD is now officially at an end. Very freaking cool. Wait, how did I... I guess I hopped it up. 
profile's a little too early there. There's still villains section. Raja Ghul, one of the oldest and most dangerous enemies, the leader of the League of Shadows. Raj has always believed that humanity needs to be reset, free of the corruption and infecting society for the last thousand years. He has killed countless innocents in pursuit of his goal. He is hundreds years old thanks to the supernatural effects of the Lazarus Pit. Raj is not immortal and has been obsessed with the idea that I replace him as the head of the League. Despite our rivalry, in recent years he seems to be losing himself, becoming more volatile and losing his sense of purpose. Yeah, that's what, that's what the Pit does to you. This is likely due to his repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pit. Update. Raj came after Bruce. Their fight led to them to the Batcave, where Bruce detonated the self the failsafe, killing Raj himself and destroying both the Batcave and Wayne Manor above it. We still don't know what drove Raj to attack uh, Barbara Gordon, or a AKA Batgirl. GCPD. After Jim Gordon's death, Catherine Kane became the new commissioner, and the GCPD became more militarized and a lot less friendly to vigilantes. The mob. Oh, well, there's like stuff inside this too. Wait, okay, I got a package real quick. I gotta go freaking grab that real quick. Sorry about this. You can just look at this picture. Gordon's death and Catherine Kane became the new commissioner and the GCPD became more militarized. Yeah, well, once it's going there, you can just look at the start. I'll be back in a minute. Let's pull that stuff back in real quick. Uh. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. There were indeed packages I had to bring in. Which is CPD detective. Resistance. Uh, detectives don't tolerate us like they used to. We don't need any more enemies in GCPD to stay out of their way unless absolutely necessary. Stay out of their way unless absolutely necessary. GCPD patrol resistance. Run of the mill cops aren't much of a threat. They hate us, so. Keep your distance whenever possible. But some are good cops. Interesting. Brawler. The Muscle. They usually have some training and are keen to make a name for themselves, but they're bosses. Which is a dangerous trait in a fight. They're mobsters. Oh wait, that's a category type? Oh no, these aren't. This is a category type. Regulator, weakness. Um, purple lightning. So, um, Batgirl. Regulator. Weakness. You only know about the regulators right now. 
Oh, they're these guys. They're the ones I beat up. The AK with the drum. Or AK looking gun. The drum. The f Freaks. This is such a derogatory name, but I guess they go by. Uh, feeling abandoned by society. The Freaks have found community in each other. Together they instill panic and fear in the citizens of Gotham for fun. Brawler, regulator, fire, poison, or whatever that is. Freaks rely on barroom fighting techniques, not too tough one on one, but they rarely travel alone, so be careful not to get surrounded. Bulldozer, this is the guy I gotta find! I gotta find five of these guys to unlock the super move. Bulldozer, can take a beating and give one right back. Their shield makes it tough to get a hit in, and their size makes it tough. To make the hit count. Damage, um, blue star and fire, resistance fire, weakness, uh, green poison, guard armored attack. Fire starter, not add up fighters, preferring instead to, to stand outside of combat and lob, lob molotovs. There'd be a molotov cocktail. It's a uh, liquor with, uh, cloth added as a wick, and then set on fire. As alcohol is flammable. I'll keep an eye on them, and make sure you stay out of throwing range. Regulator, damage, fire, resistance, fire, weakness. Uh, blue poison looking thing. I'm mean, blue, freaking green. Oh my goodness. My mind is slipping. Ah, with all this freaking reading. My focus is fading. Whoops, I don't want to quit out. Oh, there's, there's a nice sea barber again, but... That should have done it, though, honestly. That may have been everything. There's, like, rage quit out at the end. No, okay. I didn't mean to. Whoops. I think that is everything. I did see that look at the emails real quick, but those may actually change per person. Um... Although, honestly, you know what's freaking dude? This video is long. Like, I need to take a break, but, like, I'm curious to see if the email actually changes. Because if the email actually changes, then I may just do my own little email thing and I might read over the same stuff. Um. Just to have that video up for people if they wanted that. Well, I do need to take a break here, though. So, so yeah, I just... Well, I said in this video I'd show this off, so I'm just going to quickly show it. And I've already read these. So you can just pause it. And look at it. You can just pause this, look at it. Or go back to a video, which was like... Two to three videos ago when Ashley was reading these. If you just want to hear it read. But if these do change per person, I will probably do a separate video, come back, read it, um, and do all that. But just because I said I'd do this, I'm going to keep it in here. And this is important too. Find these. These are real. I'm going to assume this is also real and actually know where this one is. This is in Robinson Park, I believe. This is why it's cool to do a predetermined scouting of, of Gotham because I just randomly found this. I took a screenshot of it too, where its location would be, just in case if it was important again. So that's some symbols on it, and it will be important again, probably. Um, it's like in the middle of, of like Robinson area. It's it's a tower. It's a obelisk, actually, I believe. Um, so yeah, look for an obelisk there, and, I, and I'm going to be showing off where that is. This I don't know. This I have not found yet. Um, so you can pause. Look at that. Oh, sorry. I don't think I looked at this. You can pause, look at that. Pause, look at that. And then look at that. Pause, look at that. Um. But anyway, you're an absolute champ and legend if you were just in this playlist and just watching this just completionist see the whole run. 
absolutely epic of you to go through all of that uh, with me there. Um, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't hit that sub button, it would really mean the world to me. But if, you're, if you've already hit that and you're one of my um, subscribers, you can like, uh, leave, feel free to leave a comment, do all that. That's quite a lot of talking. <laughs> so much tiring, considering I've already been recording videos this one. And I'm hoping to get more out, but I'm going to take definitely take a little break after that. Um, and thank you so much for freaking uh, uh, exper experiencing that with me. That deep, deep, sweet lore. And uh, thanks so much, and may your tale eternally be retold.